Hi everyone, welcome to Patty Puckett Pouring Art. Today I'm going to be doing a black and white pour. I'm not sure um, what I'm going to do really until I get going on it. But let me tell you about the colors. What I did was I have two cups of white and two cups of black. Every one of them is mixed with a different medium. So let me talk about, I just wanted to experiment with that. Um, my first, this first white is a little off-white, but it is a mixture of this Folk Art Petticoat milk paint. So it's one part milk paint, one part semi-gloss house paint, that's Glidden, two parts Floetrol, and a half a part GAC 800. And I just keep it mixed up in this bottle. It does separate, so you have to make sure you shake it every time. So the black, this next black, is a combination of 50% Floetrol and 50% Creative Inspirations Varnish. Those two together, 50-50, mixed it with the Artist Loft Black, and that's what you get. The next one is Pouring Medium is Deco Art Pouring Medium with Artist Loft Black. The next white is Floetrol and Artist Loft White. So they're all, they leave a mound, they sink pretty quick. Not really thick, um, but not thin either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down a base coat, and my base coat background is semi-gloss, Glidden semi-gloss house paint. And so that's a half part paint, half part Floetrol, a little bit of GAC 800, and a little bit of this Creative Inspirations Gloss Medium. So that's what I'm going to do my, for my white base. So let me get that down, and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I popped all the bubbles. This is a 10 by 20 canvas. I have the big push pins on the bottom to keep it up off the table. So I'm going to start with the milk paint because I want to be able to pour. I'm not injecting it like I usually do. I'm just going to pour the other paint over it. And I think I do want some negative space. So this is a lot of paint. I'm not going to be using hardly any. So let's get started here. I'm going to just pour a design. I think that's it. I'm going to be tilting. Then I'm going with the first one, which was mixed with the varnish and the Floetrol. It's already too much paint. <clears throat> it's hard when you got a cup full not to use too many, too much. I'm just going to start down here with this other white. Okay. I might do a little swipe with it too. And pour that right next to it. All right, let's just go with that, see what happens. So yeah, I think I do want to swipe. So I'm just going to swipe it over to this edge. So the black over the white gives more action for cells. A little more on the milk paint, but the white over the black doesn't seem to get very many. Okay, let me, I'm going to torch this right now. I got some bubbles going on. I think that's all I want to do. I'm going to tilt it now. I do have to get some of this paint off, so let's see where it takes us. And the more I tilt this top part off, I think the more that milk paint might start coming up.
I know I have white, I knew I would have some white coming up through the black. So why don't I bring you back in about 10 minutes and then I'll decide if I want to keep it, try something over it, or scrape it. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. I did have some cells come up here <clears throat> because of the milk paint, but um, I think I'm going to pour some more paint on here and do some swiping with some cell activator and just see what I get. I'm just, I'm not happy with this, so I'm going to sort of leave everything where it is and I'm going to turn it back this way. I think I'm just going to go with that for now. I'm going to be using <clears throat> some cell activator. It's made of 50% Floetrol, um, Amsterdam Black Oxide, and 50% US. So it's 50% US Floetrol and Australian Floetrol mixed together. And to that, it's three parts of the Floetrol to one part Amsterdam Black Oxide. You know, the thing with this is it's not going to, when I tilt it, it's not going to all move at the same time because there's more paint in areas than others. So it's going to get some snake stuff going on, which I don't like. But, hey, let's give it a shot. What can I say? The thing with swiping is you end up with gray, which is really... Not what I wanted either. See, you got portions of it moving, portions of it not moving. Sometimes it works. I've had paintings like, just like this. After I tilt, it's like, oh no, what's happening? And then in the end, it's like, oh, that's cool. So. I really don't mind this up here. I guess what I could do while I'm tilting is pour some white paint on there. Why not? There are no rules in pouring. You can pretty much do and try whatever you want. this down here. I don't really like this, this part, and I don't mind this part. So I don't know how I could change this <clears throat> at this point. I'm still not giving up. I'm going to go ahead and pour black paint right along here. Try to do it like that and tilt it and see if I can cover up some of this. I might lose that, but I'm not sure. Um, I'm trying to think of what paint I want to use. One's a little thicker than the other. Maybe I'll use this. A little thicker paint. Okay. This is my last chance to save this.
Okay, I'm going to stop right there. I definitely like that better. I do have some air bubbles that I'm not sure I want to, I'm, I'm not going to torch that. I'll just use a little stick. I got a couple right here. I'll let them come up naturally. Um, I would hang it the way you're looking at it right now, long ways, rather than the way I'm looking at it. Or it could be done either way, but I'll be right back. I'm going to let it sit for about 15 minutes and see how this fills in. Got a little some wispies coming up here. Okay, guys, it's been about 20 minutes. Um, looking at it from your way, it looks like a cave. And these are dendrites and these are staglomites hanging down. Then you have some fractals going around. This milk paint that's coming up. So it looks like the inside of a cave to me. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm not sure what you think. But I'll bring you down a little closer so you could really see what's going on down here. But um, looking at it from my way, um, it still could be a cave. Let me get you around. Because the staglomites still come up in a cave. So, I mean, you could be looking outside into the night and that could be stars I'm like you know I'm really putting it out there you guys <laughs> I want to like this a lot but um tell me what you think I'm you know I'm just confused about it so tell me what you see in this painting and I'll bring you right down give me a minute okay here we go Those could be the staglomites coming up. And then we have some fractals in the milk paint. Okay, I'll get to. Sort of cool. And then up here, I didn't do that. That's just came up little curly cues in the milk paint. Anyway, that's what we have. Let me know what you think and what you see. Maybe, I mean, tell me if I should paint over it because I can easily just do that. I'm going to hang it up, let it dry, hang it up, see if I can you know, maybe on the wall, it'll be different. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Catch you next time. Keep on pouring. Bye.